this video the foods you must eat every day if you have kidney disease and you want to get better hello my name is Catherine and I'm a doctor in natural medicine and a researcher in the field of kidney health and I've been working in this field for over a decade now and just 10 years ago everyone knew that kidney disease was irreversible when you got diagnosed your doctor would immediately reserve you a spot in a dialysis clinic nearby today however kidney disease is somehow not irreversible anymore even patients in stage 5 have the chance to see an improvement how is this possible you may ask have they found better diagnostic tests new pharmacologic treatments stem cells maybe nope it's not that the most important thing that actually change is the diet fact with a diet that works patients in all the stages of kidney disease have a chance to improve or at least stop the progression of the disease but your diet needs to be personalized that's what the rule book says right one size fits all my work for cheap clothing items but not for your diet this is why what i want to show you today are the foods you must eat every day depending on your own needs look there are many foods that have significant health benefits for the kidneys but you can't have all of them every day on the other hand most CKD patients also have other complications or comorbidities that they need to take care of diabetes hypertension maybe proteinuria or anemia heart issues and there are certain foods that are not just great for CKD they are also incredibly helpful against one or more of these conditions these are the five foods you must eat every day if your goal is to improve so the video is going to be divided in sections all right in case you want to jump to a specific issue you can use the timestamp function of youtube down in the description to navigate the video okay let's start now i have a lot of foods to share with you today let's start with the foods that will help with diabetes if you have diabetes and cgd you should follow a plant-based diet all right that's the only way to improve you will want to eat lots of fruit and veggies and to avoid meat and animal based foods in general as well as added sugar guys keep in mind that the only way to improve with diabetes is to consume less calories than you burn the keto diet carnivore and any other fat diet only work because they put you in a caloric deficit but you can do that with a diet that does not destroy your kidneys in the process all right to prove you this let's take a look at some of the foods that are a must for diabetes patients starting with oats raw oats are incredibly beneficial for people with diabetes they can actually improve your insulin sensitivity and this is a proven fact by the way this review of 16 studies conducted on hundreds of diabetes patients concluded that this review has revealed an improvement of glucose insulin sensitivity and lipid profiles after oats consumption what's more to say so consume rolled oats every day obviously without added sugar if you have diabetes maybe with some berries and a teaspoon of cinnamon on top another food i absolutely recommend is tangerine especially with the peel why tangerine in particular i recently talked about a case report published in the bmj about a cgd patient with diabetes that was rapidly approaching stage 5 but he started a new diet a plant-based one and he immediately started to lose weight they had to reduce his insulin after just two days yeah the power of avoiding meat now an interesting fact about his diet he didn't have many rules apart from avoiding anything that was not plant-based his only hard rule was to eat two small citrus fruits every day 
why citrus fruits? Because they have no biotin, a flavonoid that improves insulin resistance. So eat tangerines every day and with the peel because that's where the no biotin is. Add them to a smoothie. And for diabetes, also eat okra. Also known as ladyfinger, this is a staple of the cuisine of the south of the United States that has huge benefits for diabetes. It contains a special type of fiber that decreases sugar absorption in the digestive tract, leading to a more stable blood sugar response. It's one of the few foods that can actually lower your fasting glucose levels if you just add it to your diet. It's an incredibly powerful effect, as this review of studies tells us. So add okra to your diet if you have diabetes. Okay guys, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more foods for diabetes. I can make a new video about this. And also subscribe and tap the like button if you still haven't. Up next, what foods should you eat every day for hypertension? So hypertension or high blood pressure is the bane of CKD patients. This is a condition that's caused by kidney disease that, in turn, causes kidney damage. Also, the medications used to treat it cause kidney damage. This is why you want to follow a diet that's specific for hypertension as well. How do you do that? First of all, avoid consuming too much sodium, and sodium primarily comes from processed and packaged foods. Also, make sure you avoid animal-based foods and anything with added sugar. Some people are also sensitive to caffeine. Last but not least, always drink enough water every day. But what about the foods? Well, if you have high blood pressure, one thing you should consider consuming every day is a beet and spinach smoothie. Or you can put them in a soup, or you can eat these two foods, however you want. It doesn't really matter how you eat them, but find a way to add beet and spinach to your diet. Why, you may ask. Well, the reason is nitric oxide. Many CKD patients have too low levels of nitric oxide, and this is bad. Nitric oxide is a powerful vasodilator. It doesn't just lower blood pressure. It also brings more blood, oxygen, and nutrients to the kidneys. So what you want to do here is to eat more foods containing nitrates, such as beets and spinach. These are some of the best nitrate sources you can find. Okay, here is another incredibly healthy food for people with high blood pressure. This is a cacao pod, the most natural form of chocolate you can find. This is basically the bean of the Theobroma cacao tree. Alright, this is where cocoa solids and cocoa butter come from. And this is incredibly healthy because it has all the benefits of cacao with none of the additives. This is full of flavonoids, antioxidants that protect the kidneys. In clinical trials, test subjects who were administered natural cocoa had a reduction in blood pressure of 3.7 over 2.7 compared to the control group. I mean, this is amazing. This is just food, not a medicine. And of course, you can get this benefit from cacao nibs as well or from other natural cacao products that don't contain sugar or additives such as phosphorus. Now, cacao and the other foods for blood pressure are a bit high in potassium, but this shouldn't worry you. In fact, when CKD patients were given 40 grams of dark chocolate in a trial a day, their plasma levels of phosphorus and potassium didn't change. The only thing that changed was their level of inflammatory markers with a significant improvement. This is why everyone should consider cacao, not just those with high blood pressure. Okay, a superfood that's a must in the diet of every single kidney patient is garlic. Garlic is something I usually recommend for high blood pressure, but it has an infinite list of health benefits. It also helps with diabetes, cholesterol, heart health, liver health, the immune system, heavy metal detoxification, bone health. Studies are also suggesting that it protects from Alzheimer's and that it makes you live longer. Yeah, I recommended garlic a million times in my videos and for a lot of good reasons. Eat it every day. Now guys, let's talk about a condition that can make the difference between improving kidney disease and kidney failure. Proteinuria. So what is proteinuria? 
This is usually one of the first things doctors will look at when you get a blood test done. Proteinuria or the presence of protein in the urine doesn't just tell you how much your kidneys are working right now. This level actually predicts your future. Yes, the higher proteinuria is, the higher your chances of losing kidney function rapidly. If we don't want that, a few things everyone should do to fight proteinuria include making sure vitamin D levels are in check and also take omega-3 supplements. Yeah, and obviously a low protein diet. And there are also foods that are a must to eat every day with proteinuria. Let's take a look. First of all, turmeric. Turmeric, just like garlic, is something I always recommend. Eat it every day in particular if you have proteinuria. Why? Well, because it's one of the most powerful superfoods on earth. It has many benefits and most of all, it has been shown in medical literature that consuming this food every day or supplementing curcumin can significantly improve your proteinuria level. Now guys, you know that I'm a naturopath and the way we use turmeric is as a part of, for example, decoctions and preparations. Yes, in order to make it more potent, turmeric is usually taken in combination with other plants. And the most important thing you should combine turmeric with is black pepper. Turmeric doesn't work without it. But you know, today's video is not about decoctions, it's all about foods. You can actually eat turmeric and it can be very tasty. And another incredibly healthy food you can add to turmeric is ginger. Ginger is a must in any renal diet in my opinion and if you also have proteinuria, make sure you eat it every day. You can take it with turmeric for example by preparing a golden milk. I love this thick, tasty drink. This is made from powdered spices including turmeric, black pepper, ginger, chili pepper and cinnamon. But don't use milk nor butter to make it, instead use soy or almond milk and a teaspoon of olive oil. And add ginger. Recent research is linking ginger to a plethora of health benefits mostly due to the incredibly powerful anti-inflammatory effect ginger possesses. It can drastically lower blood sugar levels on the long term, essential for those with diabetes. It helps lower cholesterol levels and it was also linked to lowered proteinuria levels. Amazing! Now another food that fights proteinuria due to its anti-inflammatory effect is flaxseed. This small seed is amazing as well. It protects the kidneys, especially in those with inflammatory kidney disease. There are studies showing that flaxseed can improve GFR in this case. This is why flaxseed is one of the most recommended foods for people with kidney disease, with or without proteinuria. Just keep in mind that you need to green flaxseed before consuming it or to buy flax meal. Okay, I have a special entry when it comes to proteinuria. There is a food that has been linked to a whooping 36.7% decrease in proteinuria, which is incredible. This is cordyceps. This is a mushroom, all right? I know that cordyceps is usually taken as a supplement, but you can literally use it to make soup and you can eat it. But obviously for most people just supplementing cordyceps is a way more practical way of achieving this result. This is why I've talked about how to do just that in my recent video. It's up here and also down in the description if you missed it. Okay guys, let's talk about one of the most underestimated complications of CKD, anemia. This is a complication that's chronically ignored by most doctors. A huge number of CKD patients has this complication but many doctors don't care. There are so many patients that are suffering from this complication that some doctors ended up stopping to test kidney disease patients completely. They won't even check your iron levels if you don't ask. So make sure you are being tested for iron levels if you have CKD. That said, what are some foods that are a must for anyone with CKD and anemia? Well, instead of just foods for this entry, I want to share with you a super easy recipe that's ideal both in terms of health benefits and from a gastronomic point of view. What I want you to try is a string beans plus kale plus orange salad. This may seem a random combination of foods, but it's not. The reason is the huge amount of iron, kale and string beans can offer. 
This mineral is key for kidney health and anemia. It's also not that easy to get in a renal diet. This is why you must get as much iron from your diet as possible. So eat all the cruciferous veggies and all the legumes you can feed in your diet. Now, most legumes also contain protein, but string beans are lower in protein than any other legume. String beans also contain carotenoids such as beta-carotene, lutein, and zeaxanthin, which protect the kidneys against oxidative damage. Kale also has powerful antioxidants such as quercetin and caperol, which may help reduce inflammation. This is why you want these foods on your table every day. Now also remember that you need to add vitamin C in order for the iron in these foods to be absorbed. And this is where oranges can help. But even though this salad is extremely healthy, if you have anemia caused by kidney disease, you will need more than what a salad can offer. You need a diagnosis, appropriate medical treatments, supplements, and more. This is why I have made a full video about this very common problem. It's up here and also down in the description. Okay guys, there is another complication that's extremely common and that you need to take care of with the diet. And I'm talking about metabolic acidosis. What is metabolic acidosis and why should you care about it? This is a complication of CKD that happens when the kidneys cannot filter enough acid from the blood. It's part of the reason why you can't eat animal-based foods and other foods with a high potential renal acid load. These foods produce huge amounts of acid and this damages the kidneys and, well, the other organs in the body. In fact, metabolic acidosis also damages the bones. It causes osteoporosis, it decreases insulin sensitivity, and even causes high serum potassium levels. Yeah, if you have CKD, a steak is way more likely to mess your potassium levels than an avocado. Now, while avoiding animal-based foods, junk foods, and other acid-forming foods, such as ultra-processed grains, is key to fight metabolic acidosis, you also want to include in your daily diet foods that are alkaline, all right? And some foods are more alkaline than others. And the most alkaline food you can find is spinach. Yes, this veggie detoxes more acid from your body than any other unprocessed food, gram per gram. It's also a food with huge blood pressure lowering properties, as we have seen. And well, it has a bunch of other health benefits. No reason not to consume it daily. Well, the only issue here is potassium content, but keep in mind that today, dietary potassium is not supposed to be restricted anymore, all right? Your doctor is supposed to find the real cause of high serum potassium levels if you suffer from this condition, which is usually blood pressure medications. Another food with alkalizing properties is kale. Okay, kale. This is the second time we see kale in this video about foods you must eat daily. This should really tell you something about the health benefits of this cruciferous vegetable. Kale is also one of the most alkaline forming foods out there and it's lower in potassium than spinach. Third food here is fennel. This is another wonder veggie. People choose fennel for its licorice-like flavor, but it also has impressive health benefits. Fennel can help with heart health, cholesterol, and it also fights the inflammation in the body. And guys, if you want to see what other foods I recommend for the common issues associated with CKD, including swelling, uric acid, high cholesterol, and more, my video up here is for you, and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.